All right, we have lots of soundboard rib repairs to do on this piano, a lot. So this is gonna be a fun one. Ideally, we'd be able to pull the plate off, take all the strings off, pull the plate off, and we'd be able to get at it that way. But unfortunately, that's not an option in this, in this project. We've gotta do it with, at least with the treble strings on. The bass strings are off, which, which actually helps quite a bit, but we still have to work around the treble strings. So let's see what I'm talking about here. This one is really bad. You can see the, there's extensive, extreme separation of that soundboard to the rib. That soundboard and rib, those are supposed to be, those are supposed to be glued together, connected just super well. None of that, none of that kind of thing should, should be happening. So, so there's pr basically every single rib in this piano, we're gonna have to go up and down and do all sorts of repairs. And uh, so let's do, let's do one of them. All right, first, first what we'll do is, uh, is we'll figure out where, where exactly we are. This, in this particular crack, fortunately we can put, well fortunately or unfortunately, we can put a string through there just to kind of mark our spot so we know exactly where we're going to be drilling. So I'm going to be, I'm going to put a uh, screw from the other side in towards this direction. Now you can do it, you can do it from the back going into the rib, but it's just a little bit harder. This is, this is a, a, a better way to go if you, if you have access at the other side. First thing is we're just going to drill through the soundboard only. We're going to drill right in there, but on the other side, um, through the soundboard only. What we want, I'm, I decided for this piano, I'm going to use these, these number six screws. So let's see. I use three quarters. That's probably fine. One inch is probably overkill. This drill bit is 140 thousandths, and the overall diameter of the number six screw is about 140, so it should basically just pass right through the soundboard, which is what we want. Okay, let's go to the other side. So we're going to go down and slightly that direction from the wire. Okay, so see the wire there. Just felt it pop right through, which means I'm through the soundboard only. Yep, and that just passes right through, which is exactly what we want. Drill a pilot hole and stay there. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole for the threads of this screw. The or sorry, sorry for the shank. That's the same size as the shank of the screw. The shank of the screw is is. Um, hundred thousandths and this drill bit is about ninety thousandths so because it's a soft wood I'm going less than the shank usually I want to go at least the shank but this is a really soft wood I really want it to to have plenty of good bite I don't think we're at much risk of of any splitting so I'm just gonna go in there a little bit not very far at all and then this I'm going to do by, after I put glue in there, I'm going to do it by, uh, so come on, come on back around this side. And I'm going to do with a uh, screwdriver, not, not with a drill, 
not with a, you know, I'm not going to put a Phillips bit on the, on the, uh, on that drill because I want to feel it and I want to go very slow. This is such soft wood that if you were to, if you were to use the drill, <coughs> it would very quickly strip. See if we can get glue through this needle. Yeah, needle's too thick, or, too, or the glue is too thick for the needle. So let's try it this way. So usually, what I would do right now. is I would go get a uh, larger needle or one of those one of those plastic little uh, flexible but since I'm making a video and I don't want to take the time to go get it I'm just gonna do it with this and there is plenty of space for me to get the tip of this syringe in there. Actually, another thing that I forgot is a uh, a moist paper towel. Here, I'm just going to put some some glue in there. And wow, that entire thing, that entire, that's fairly uncommon. It wouldn't be that bad. See the need for the moist paper towel there. Trying to kind of let gravity do do some work to get the the glue down to fill the entire crack or, or the entire the entire joint between the between the rib and the soundboard. If I can push that in there. Looks like it's coming. Now to the other side. getting everything okay so get the get the shot down below you can see where that and that moist paper towel should be coming any second now you can see where see how the glue has has totally saturated the uh, between the rib and the soundboard okay now I think what I'm gonna do while we wait for that other one I want to see if I can put a screw here and there as well since usually usually what we need to do in this case is we need to just put one usually there's just a little bit of separation you know an inch or two on either side of the crack but this one the separation is all the way down so I can see so I can lengthen that 
So this is the smaller drill bit. And I'll do one halfway. Thank you, Jake. Now I'm just going to go through the uh, soundboard on this one. Great. Thank you. That's just water. Yeah, that's perfect. That's all I need. like we'll need another another paper towel will you get another one for me we've got a lot of glue now I'm gonna put in you know I changed my mind I said I was gonna do three quarters I'm gonna do a full inch Yeah, perfect. The whole the whole paper towel roll, that's what I need. Thank you, Jake. Okay, so it should just pass through. All right, now, why don't you put the uh, put the camera on the other side and we should see that glue start to squeeze out even more down at the bottom. Okay, ready? Tell me if it squeezes out as I tighten this up. Yep. Okay, so the reason that we did the larger hole through the soundboard, now keep, you can keep the, keep the camera over there. The reason we did the larger hole through the soundboard and then the smaller pilot, pilot hole into the rib is because we want it to pass through the soundboard without biting at all, without without the threads biting. Are we getting more squeeze out there? Yep. Okay. Now, by the way, we're gonna and then one more. I'm gonna do one one last one. So the the uh, the the soundboard acts as kind of a washer to pull those two together, and then that glue will, of course, dry. And then we'll take these screws out when the glue is dry and replace the screws with, with wood. Okay, do we get more squeezing out there? Yep. Great. Is it squeezing out all the way along? Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's what we want. They're a temporary, yeah, clamp essentially, while the while the glue dries. So this soundboard is, you know, it's not, it's it's not going to take forever, but it's it's just going to take doing, doing what I just did on, on this one section of rib, doing that another. I don't know how many times, a lot of times. Maybe maybe as many as, I don't know, 30, 40 holes and glue. Which is very uncommon. Usually, usually a, a bad one is, is more like, I don't know, five or six, maybe ten, but doing as many as this is going to require. You know, like I said, ideally, 
this piano would get a new a new soundboard that'd be great or and new ribs but obviously that's not in the scope of this project so it's either trash this piano or rebuild it and we opt to rebuild make this make this uh, piano give it some more life so so and uh, maybe I'll mention why we're doing this the the soundboard needs to act as one unit it's it's it moves air it vibrates when the when the string vibrates it vibrates the bridge which is attached to the soundboard and then that whole soundboard should vibrate as one big unit. And if you've got cracks all over the place between, between the, the planks of the soundboard and the ribs that aren't connecting it all together, you're going to get buzzes like crazy. That soundboard is going to vibrate against the rib, and it's going to sound like a bad loudspeaker, like an old paper loudspeaker that's had a hole po poked in it. And it's, it's, it's just going to sound terrible. It's going to sound weak, and uh, it'll just have a really poor tone. So after all of this is done, and by the way, there have been a number of repairs before. I think we're going to probably repair those repairs. We're going to redo do those repairs. You can see these old screws here where, where a lot of those repairs have been done in the past. And they left the screws on there. We're not going to do that, though. We're going to replace that with, with dowels and, and make it look real nice. So, uh, yeah. So that looks good. Clean it up maybe a little bit more and then and then move on to Rib number two, three, all, all of them, they all need to be done. <laughs> 